<coughs> this is our Bridgeport Miller machine. It's had a full strip down service, a complete rebuild, regrind to the X and Y axes, tops of the table and two, two sides have also been reground. We've replaced the lead screws, the nuts of the lead screws, all sorts of things, full oil service, all new oil valves, uh, all in there, all brand new. It's a brand new oil pump, uh, it's got a variable speed head, it's had a brand new motor on this particular machine as well. Uh, it's got a two axis DRO fitted to it. It's a lovely machine, it's ready to go. Please come down and see it in real life once you've seen, once you've watched the video demo. So I'm just going to run through the machine now and show you it all working. Almost no backlash at all in the X and the Y axis. Brand new lead screws, as I said before, all across there. The Y is the same, absolutely lovely. <clears throat> Almost no backlash at all. Just enough to keep it smooth. Same with the knee, the knee bearing's been replaced. That's absolutely silent. All been serviced down there with the oil service as well. Even the knee handle is brand new, lovely chrome as well. All the locks function to the X, the Y and the knee locks all work fine, all been serviced really great. <coughs> X axis power feed we're moving on to now. We'll power it up. It's variable speed. So that's really about the slowest that you can uh, run it at. You can see it's, see it's still moving on the x-axis there. You can wrap it over at any time. Take your finger off and it goes back to feed. You can move these stops to wherever you need them to be, wherever the job happens to be. But underneath here there's hidden stops, so you'll notice that won't go any further than there. That's to ensure that the power feed doesn't hit anything it shouldn't and the same on the other side as well. So as long as you don't take those out and don't take these stops off, you'll be absolutely fine. Okay, so moving on, we're now going to test the variable speed head and the quill. So just to ensure the brake's off before you fire up. Here it's absolutely lovely and smooth. Lovely and quiet. the brake just to slow it down quickly so you can see it on the video that it does actually work. It's not there to slow the spindles uh, down at all. It's only there for when you're taking the draw bar out. Okay so changing now from we're in high range to low. So just move this handle out of the way. <coughs> this is a quick release handle so you can put it to wherever you want. You just push it to one side and lock it in. It, a really nice feature that. Okay so we're going from high to low now. Push this handle in, turn it round, make sure it locks into low range before you fire up. There we go, just as quiet and loud. It's 300 RPM in low range. That's about 60 RPM. change now from, from low to high <clears throat> but before I do that I'm going to just go into the neutral so push the handle in let it click to there can you see the handle's about there now pointing towards the table 
that's actually neutral, so it's got the neutral. So if you're clocking up a PCD, you need to make sure that's there, that's really handy. Okay, go to high. Okay, make sure it's locked in before you fire up. And you can see it changes over just fine. Okay, so now I'm going to test the quill for you. So again, put the handle back into position we want. <clears throat> fire it up. Bring the, bring the quill off the stop. It won't engage. Just explain that. The quill won't engage feed with this all the way to the top or all the way to the bottom. It needs to lift. So it needs to just be off one of the stops. As you see the feed mechanism runs absolutely fine. That's the highest feed rate. That's the medium. Sorry, that's the medium. The slowest is there. So I'll let it come all the way down and turn off itself. still going the same way on the spindle, you can actually reverse the feed. And that's obviously because if you're doing fine boring or something like that. Okay, so uh, the quill lock works great too. There's a little quill lock here. See that's locked now. Uh, there's a cooling system here, new cooling pipes for the out feed and the in feed, the coolant pump in the back, which is also brand new. So the machine is working absolutely beautifully. Please come down and see it for yourself. Thanks for watching.